So by my calculations, we are now approaching eight months of this pandemic. And it feels like it. It's funny, Halloween is in the books and uh, you know we did our best to make it seem like it was okay. But now our thoughts are turning towards Christmas and uh, as sure as the first snowflakes have already flown, the Hallmark movies have started. And uh, around our house at least, that marks the official start of the Christmas season. Uh, we haven't put our tree up or anything like that. But our thoughts are turning to Christmas. And especially this year with the COVID pandemic, we're recognizing that Christmas is not gonna be the same. And that can take some of the hope, some of the joy, some of the fun out of it. But I'm gonna suggest that we need to make our best efforts to not let it. We need to rebuild hope. I was reading uh, about Zechariah in Luke chapter one. We're gonna be talking about that on Sunday. And he talks about the incredible joy that floods into not only his heart, but the hearts of God's people, knowing that God has come to save them. He would never see the ministry of Christ. He would never see the ministry of his own son, John the Baptist. But nevertheless, Zacharias was filled with hope. That's a message that we need to grab a hold of. We faced none of the challenges that Zechariah did in his life. His life was marked by a lot of challenges. But in our time, in the challenges that we have, we have the responsibility and the privilege to celebrate with hope and with joy the coming of the Christ. That's our goal this Christmas. That's what we're working towards. God bless you.